Hello, I'm Benny Landa, and it is my privilege to greet all of you attending the Bombay Masters Printers Association Conference in Goa. I'm very pleased to meet you. Actually, I'm sure that some of us have met before, perhaps at Drupa, and if so, you may have heard me say that if there's one thing the past 30 years has taught us all, it is this. Everything that can become digital will become digital, and printing is no exception. Today, I would like to share with you some thoughts about our industry's transition from mechanical to digital printing. You know, for almost 600 years, mechanical printing has remained fundamentally unchanged. You make a printing plate, you smear it with ink, you press it onto paper, and then you duplicate that same image page after page. Well, that may have been okay for printing Bibles or, or other goods that never change. But in today's digital era, everything changes at internet speeds. We live in an online, on-demand world where products need to be tailored, customized, even personalized to, to, to appeal to today's consumers. That's why we invented the digital printing press in the first place, decades ago. Now, the significance of digital printing may seem obvious to each of you who are in this industry. You're in folding cartons, you're in labels, books, direct mail, general commercial printing. But you know, when I meet a stranger, especially a young person, and they ask me what I do, and I say I'm in printing, you can see it in their eyes. Their eyes glaze over. They're, they're saying to themselves, printing? Steam engines. Who needs printing? Everyone has iPhones. Printing is dead. And that's because most young people today think that printing means newspapers, which indeed, in the smartphone age, will, replace, will be replaced by digital media. But newspapers are only 4% of the printing market. Most of the other 96% is comprised of commercial printing and packaging. Well, packaging alone, everything you buy in a supermarket or a drugstore, whether folding carton, film, or labels, is almost 60% of the entire market or over $500 billion in the value of printed goods sold. And since it's the packaging that sells the product, it will always need to be printed with beautiful, high-quality, eye-catching, brilliant colors. And that can't be replaced by digital media, at least not in our lifetimes and not in our children's lifetimes. And more than that, packaging is demanding, demanding ever shorter run lengths and greater customization. In other words, is demanding to be produced digitally. Packaging, by the way, is also the fastest growing printing segment for two reasons. First is urbanization. When a family moves from the country to the city, instead of buying their food in an open air market, they buy it in a supermarket, most of which of course is packaged. And secondly, there's been a huge increase in the variety of products being offered to consumers, spawning the need for mass customization and the need for on-demand, just-in-time production especially in today's era of online shopping. That makes the packaging opportunity not only huge, but also very capturable by digital print providers. But you know, we're finding that not just packaging is flourishing. Also digitally printed direct mail, books, especially educational books, point of purchase posters and displays, and overall general commercial printing, they've all finally started to appreciate the huge economic benefits of high-speed B1 format, ultra-high-quality digital printing. Not to mention, of course, the ability to do variable information jobs or, or digitally collated jobs, which of course are possible only with digital printing. So you're probably asking yourselves, so how has digital printing fared since Indigo first introduced it 28 years ago? Well, digital printing has seen spectacular growth today accounting for 1.6 trillion pages printed annually. Now that may sound impressive, but that's just 3% of the 50 trillion pages printed overall, with the other 97% still printed mechanically. Now, 
why will digital printing take an ever-increasing share of this market? Well, as you're aware, historically, most run lengths were long, typically 10,000 sheets to hundreds of thousands of sheets, perfect for mechanical printing, and everyone was making money. But over time, customers, such as brand owners, started demanding ever shorter and shorter run lengths and customization, which could, of course, not be produced profitably by offset printing. That's why digital printing was invented in the first place, to enable short and customized runs to be produced profitably. And indeed, today's digital printing technologies can produce very short runs of up to a few hundred sheets profitably. But that still leaves a huge profitability gap in the short to medium run lengths, which is where most of today's jobs are. And they cannot be filled either by offset or by small format digital printing solutions. So, for example, if you order a few digitally printed photo albums of, say, a family event, such as a, a wedding, you'd be willing to pay perhaps $50 for each album. But would you be willing to pay $100,000 for only 2,000 pieces, 2,000 albums? Of course not. That's why we developed nanography to bridge that profitability gap enabling highly profitable printing from a run length of one to many thousands. So, notwithstanding the COVID-19 pandemic and, and despite the volatile economic climate that the past couple of years has seen, we at Landa Digital Printing have been seeing that our customers are prospering. And as global economic uncertainty continues to be a concern for all of us, I wish for each and every one of you and your families that your businesses too will weather the coming storms and will prosper. And I hope to see that the Indian printing market is at the forefront of digital print adoption. I wish each of you a successful conference and I look forward to seeing many of you again at Drupa 2024. Thank you very much.